Welcome to this unique learning system pilot. We are learning together in a dramatically different and rapidly changing environment. We just completed our second face-to-face -face meeting with the National Line Officer team and are excited to share some of our learning and reflections. Here's a real microcosm during this pilot for us. If we want different results, this is a place to practice doing things differently. This learning system team is testing, by way of a pilot, virtual learning and building a community of practice with a focus on effective decision making. As a line officer, one of the biggest challenges I face in decision making is, for me, it's always about managing the, the relationships. And what perspectives do we, um, do we just not see or think to ask for? It, it's nice to make some of those decisions uh, where people can see themselves in it, you know, your, your staff, your, your, your folks. Wanting to make change, but doing everything the same way and expecting a different outcome. Sometimes we're chomping at the bit to get into an analysis and we find ourselves six weeks later and said, but what question are we actually answering? If you think of these elements as links in a chain, the overall quality of your decision is no stronger than your weakest link. Communicating knowledge and working together is more than just transferring information or having access to a database. I felt a difficulty in being able to in to really truly put thought into anything that isn't the urgent matter on my desk of the day. I can certainly identify with that. I often think of decision making kind of in two aspects: um, the rational side of my brain and my emotional side of my brain. And if I figure if I can balance those two, at some point in time, I'll end up with a decent decision. So for the better experts in the room than I, where does the emotional component fit in, the human being component fit in? Being attuned to the emotional reaction or response or feelings a decision or choices create is something to really be aware of, recognize and to value and to see how you can help that work with the rational side of things is really important. Emotionality is uh, a critical part of decision making, but it's also a critical part of when we make a decision, how we experience the outcome. For example, whether it's a loss rather than a gain for us, and how that frames up subsequent decisions we make. Uh, a better understanding of one's emotional engagement in decisions can help one stay out of traps. I really value this group of people and the work you know, part of the incentive for me is, uh, I'll say, peer-to-peer -peer support. There's some innovation in sharing your stories with with your peers. Your fellow line officers are struggling with those same challenges. The idea that we're doing some work that's going to have an impact, you know, greater than on my district or on my force. The National Line Officer Team is embracing this opportunity to learn together virtually and have expressed the value they find in making time for this community. For the next two engagements, we will be diving into risk-informed decision-making content to help line officers expand these skills and share their experiences. At the completion of this pilot, we will have evidence of learning achieved about community of practice and decision-making with recommendations for the next steps.